Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy my painting videos. If you're wondering why my camera is angled in a different way, that's because I'm in my hotel. I'm in Taiwan. If you've seen my last video, please check it out. If you haven't seen my last video, please check it out so that you know you get a, an overview of where I am right now. But all I'm saying is that I'm in Taiwan right now and I don't have the overhead um, tripod with me so I only brought another brought with me another tripod which is not as um, it's not my favorite tripod but that's the most portable tripod for me to bring so anyway I'll be painting today I actually um, protected the surrounding areas here in my hotel because again if you watch my last video i told you guys that i won't be painting because i'm a bit scared of damaging any property but i assure you that i protected the surrounding areas with plastics and all that stuff so that i won't damage anything like the curtains or the bed sheets especially you know that painting is quite messy anyway we'll be painting a marble today i haven't done a marble painting and what I really like about marbles is like they are uh, waters. You know, when you paint waters, they're shiny. They um, uh, they have movement to it. Although marbles don't have movement, literally, because it's just an object, uh, unlike waters. Still, the look of it, it looks like the Earth, the planet Earth, right? Yeah, that's what I like about marbles. Um, we're going to make it as realistic as possible as always. And we will only be needing a few colors today. We will be needing black. Anyway, the colors that I'll be mentioning will be listed in the description box below so that you don't have to worry too much if I speak fast. We have black, titanium white, lemon yellow, burnt sienna, and primary blue. Those are only the colors that we'll be using today. We'll be using green today, but since we have blue and yellow, we're just going to mix the colors. Okay, let's begin now. I know that sketching is one of the hardest part in painting or the difficult parts in painting or stage. Uh, we'll be painting or we'll be drawing a circle. You can actually use a plate to trace the shape of the circle, but I'm gonna show you how it's gonna be done freehand okay meaning we're not gonna use any tracing material you may if you want to it's just that I want to really challenge myself I want to get or do a somehow perfect circle without using any tracing material you can do that as well uh, this is really beginner type of painting you can use whatever um, tools or materials that is convenient for you so for that let's begin I, I think I talked too much for that that was three minutes three minutes of talking so i'm gonna wet my brush i'm gonna use a pointy brush so that i get the circle done um quite uh thinly all right so i'm gonna get my black i'm gonna do my best to do to draw a circle i'm not promising any perfect circle but i'll do my best to perfect it as i go okay probably the sketch won't be as perfect but definitely as we go it will be um near perfect all right so i'm gonna use my black wet my brush and start drawing the circle once we're done with the circle we're actually good to go As you can see here, I'm I keep wetting my brush so that the paint glides smoothly. Okay, I'm having a hard time doing the right side because my tripod is blocking the way, but it's all right. We're going to perfect it as we go. Again, absolutely not a perfect circle, but I will try to do my best or I will do my best to give you 
uh, an almost perfect circle. Remember that I'm freehanding everything. Some people may think why um, uh, suffer by freehanding everything. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh, guys. I think this is a good circle. As you can see, I had did many adjustments um, for this circle. All right. Now that we're done. Okay. This is so relieving to see it completely done already so now we're just gonna identify where the marbly things are gonna go I'm gonna use my black again Remember that we're just sketching, so everything will be uh, raw and nothing is final here at this stage. Just um, have fun with how free uh, doing the sketch is. Okay, it's, it's quite free to be honest. So I'm just gonna use black to re-identify the outline of the circle. Also darkening the outline. This will make our marble more um, 3D. I hope, I'm hoping, okay? Again, this is my first time to paint a marble. <laughs> so I'm gonna darken. Okay, I think I'm going to change my brush now. I'm going to use a wider or bigger brush. I'm being quite careful here because I don't want to spill anything on the table that I'm painting on. I'm going to get this size of brush and I'm just going to use my black. Oops, sorry about that. Again, any imperfection can be corrected later. It will happen. And I hope it happens to you so that you know how to correct it. Because you will only learn through doing mistakes. If you don't make mistakes, there's um, no opportunity for you to learn something new. If you know, if you know everything. All right, like that. Okay. This is very preliminary. Very preliminary. Okay, now that we have our black here, okay, I'm going to mix it with yellow. Like that. Okay. Making it quite green. Did you notice that? By simply mixing our yellow and black, we can get this green color, but I'm gonna add a little bit of blue to make it like turquoise color. Okay, and just color this part of the marble with this color. Okay, I'm gonna get my white 
and somehow blend that white on the right side of this part of the marble. As always, I suggest that you remove the sketch line now as you go with this, I call it underpainting still. Remove the sketch lines. We don't need that sketch line anymore. that right I'm using a canvas paper that's why it's um it's affecting or it's uh it's so hard to explain it's grabbing the paper like this one it's grabbing the the texture of the paper or the texture of the paper is holding on to my paint okay let's leave it like that for now all right any imperfections will be corrected later for now let's move on to the other parts of this marble so i'm gonna wash my brush out now okay I'm gonna get my black. Let's color this area. You know, I'm a super raw painter. Like I paint um, not too carefully. If you probably have noticed that in my previous videos but now since i'm in a hotel and it's not my place i'm trying to be careful and making me a little bit slow because uh i'm trying to protect the surrounding areas here the surrounding things actually like the lamp the table the the bed sheets All right, like that. Now I'm going to wash my brush out or you can simply use another brush. Okay, now I'm going to dab onto my primary blue and white. Just color. this part okay you know I love how quiet it is here in this area I mean in this hotel it's so quiet all right like that and I'm just gonna use my fingers to blend a little Okay, like that. Okay, using the same bluish color, I'm just going to go along the outline of this black um, uh, portion of the marble. Okay, just like that. Very simple, right? Okay, now let's wash our brush out. Or I'm just going to get another brush because I don't want the blue to be mixing. But if you're mixing colors just like me, you can simply uh, remove the excess water. Um, you don't have to have a super clean brush because we're using green anyway. And blue, is a comp and blue is a component color of the color green. So you don't have to wash it super nicely and neatly. So I'm going to get my lemon yellow. And white and blue 
but this time make sure that yellow is the most dominant color okay and i'm gonna go and color this part of the marble again trying to be careful not to ruin the circle outline uh remember circles are one of the most or circles are one of the most difficult shapes to do so i'm just gonna use that color right here okay Okay, now I'm going to get my blue and yellow just to get some darker green like this. I'm going to apply it. You know, I think painting marbles is like painting abstract. You don't have to worry too much about um, structured... Um, structured uh, detailing because it's marble all right okay i'm gonna get my dark green again Just use your dark green. Okay, now switch to black. Okay, just re outline that blue thing, just re outline it by using black. Okay, I'm going to go and change my brush just to make finer detailing. Okay. Again, getting my black. I'm adding a little bit of that detail. Just like that. Okay, now using this black, I'm going to water it down. And I'm going to spread it across this area. I'm using my finger, as always. When I do my paintings, I normally use my fingers to blend. So I'm, and to even apply color, it's not just blend. Okay. I think uh, the most challenging part here is to being careful as you go along the outline of the circle because you you're you don't want to mess up with the circle shape, right? I understand that because I feel the same way. I don't know if you are a good circle uh, drawer or is that is that the right word drawer? Draughtsman. <laughs> drawer is like uh, where you put your clothes. <laughs> 
right? I may be wrong. Okay. So again, I'm just going to use this watered down black, somehow uh, uh, apply it using my fingers. If you haven't tried painting using your fingers, I encourage you to do so because uh, it's more fun to be more connected with, um, connected with your paints. Just like that. Also here. Okay, I'm gonna wash my brush out. Okay, this really looks like um, uh, nothing. <laughs> it doesn't look like a marble. I'm gonna get my lemon yellow. Mix it with white. Okay, now let's go and make some detailing some yellow thing so you can see here I'm applying the paint using my paintbrush but then I'm spreading it using my fingers Okay. Gonna apply some color yellow right here. And also along this side. All right, like that. Okay, I'm gonna wash my brush out. I'm gonna get my blue, my primary blue and white. And I'm just gonna make some bluish colors. I told you guys, marbles are like the planet Earth. Uh, the colors, most of the colors in a usual marble um, may be found on the surface of the earth if you're looking from um what they call the outer space okay i'm gonna use again the blue and white mixture and let's go and make some highlighting on this area i just waited for this area to dry before i do this step just apply some light blue color. Right. Right, just like that. And then I'm going to reapply. Okay, like that. Okay, now I'm going to get some gray, okay? So mix your white and black. And using some gray color, let's apply it on the right side. Oops, okay. Remember to use gray, not pure white gray first All right also here all right and using
using the same gray, just paint. Okay, try to remove the sketch line. All right, just like that. Okay. And then I'm going to use the same gray color to highlight this part. Okay, I'm I'm grabbing some black by accident, so don't mind that. Okay, just like that and using some yellow and white mixture let's highlight the yellow part all right just like that Okay, I'm going to apply some yellow highlights right here. Okay, like that. Okay, I'm going to get my greeny color. just playing playing around this area you can actually do whatever it is that you want <laughs> just follow the general pattern that we have here all right okay i think the gray color is already dry or pretty dry now i'm gonna get my black okay use a pointy brush i suggest that you use a pointy brush uh, when you do this step just get your black and then just go around those gray spots that we had here, okay? Uh, gently go around those gray. It's like outlining it. Just like that. Okay, this is supposed to be black. Red. All right, like that. Wash your brush out, and I'm just gonna allow that to dry first. And now I'm going to go, oops, so sorry about that. This is the danger of um, being very careful. You are more prone to um, getting yourself in an accident or, um, <laughs> because you're too careful. You know that? Like um, you're attracting more danger when you are being too careful about things. I don't know if that's, that's just my opinion. Okay, now, while waiting for some areas to dry, I'm just going to clean because, again, my circle is not perfect. Try to clean the surrounding areas or the outline. And by doing this as well, I'm removing the outline or the sketch
All right. Okay. 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 This is definitely not perfect. I can see that it's not round. So I'm going to get my black. Again, we're waiting for some paints to dry, so we might as well go back to some areas that are already dry. Okay, again, I'm trying to be careful because, okay. Okay. Woo, I was not breathing at all. Okay, using black, I'm just gonna darken some areas okay. I really hope that you look at how I do it more than listen to what I say. Of course, it's important to listen to me if you're fall or if you're painting along, but I think it's more important for you to observe what I do. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna get my green. So if you don't have your green, just mix your yellow and blue. I'm going to get my greeny color and I'm going to try to make this area more green. But I'm also allowing the black paint while it's still wet to mix with it so that it becomes a little dark. Giving our marble more dimension. Alright, just like that. Okay, now let's go to our pure white, okay? So using a pure white, let's go back to this gray spots that we had earlier. And I'm just going to whiten or I'm going to just uh, apply some pure white. like that slightly pure white right here mm -hmm. more highlights all right just like that right here Okay, and here as well. Okay, I'm gonna water down the white and I'm just gonna spread some white all over the blue color. Okay, just like that. It's like glazing it with white without removing the blue color. You know how glazing goes. You don't really paint over what you've just done. You're just trying to... It's like uh, varnishing it. You know, that's the effect. Alright. And using again pure white, I'm just going to make some small dots here and there on the right side because it's receiving light, okay? Okay. All 
right. Okay, now let's just wait for some areas to dry, okay? I'm going to use this white since it's already on my paintbrush. I'm going to mix it with my blue. And let's go back to the inside, the bluey color right here. I'm just going to go and outline it again using this light blue. Okay, just like that. Okay, let's use some more bluey color. Let's use our pure primary blue. Let's go and apply that in between the black and the light blue. So it's like that, right? Pretty. It's like that. So really, this is like creating an abstract piece with the sense, okay? Because, you know, abstract pieces are only given sense by whoever looks at it and probably the painter himself or herself but it can be subject to a lot of interpretation with this type of abstract uh, it is abstract inside but we all know that it is a marble there's nothing uh it cannot be interpreted in any other way you can interpret as earth but definitely it's not the earth as you already know okay gonna get again my dark green so again if you don't have your dark green just go ahead and mix your colors okay I'm gonna add more black so that it's super dark green because we actually need more dark green hmm? okay let's use more black okay just like that like that all right now let's do some shadow we can definitely go back to the marble but I think the shadow will make it more 3d right because this is just like a circle uh, marbly plate looking circle but we need the shadow and then we'll go back to the circle once everything is dry so for the shadow I'm quite I don't know if I'm okay I'm just gonna use um, fairly large brush for that so that we get good coverage so I'm gonna use this type of brush it's quite big right so I'm gonna wet it okay I'm gonna carefully wet it as I told you I'm being very careful now and I'm gonna get my black and I'm gonna mix my black with some green And let's go and do some shadow okay again this is a mixture of black and green okay and I hope this is dry it's not yet dry but I'm just gonna go just like that now I'm gonna add more black to that and I'm gonna almost dry brushing All right just like that you can tell that my paintbrush is dry. Okay, I'm gonna darken that area near the marble right here. Meaning I'm gonna use more black.
and by dry brushing as well we can create some patterns that we probably won't be able to create if uh, we're not dry brushing okay All right. just like that all right okay just gonna make sure that this area is darker But it should not be super black. Again, we're trying to create the shadow. The shadow is not black. All shadows are not black, by the way. All right, now I'm going to wait for that to dry. I'm going to use another brush. I don't want to use this brush if I'm just going to... Um, I'm going to be destroying what I've done. You can wash it carefully. Okay. I think I'm just going to wash it. And this time, we're going to use a slight uh, tinge of blue. So get your sky blue, the one that we use in doing this area. And a small amount will do. And I'm just going to spread that color inside the shadow. Just like that. Okay, now I'm going to get my white. And again, in the same manner, we're just going to dry brush. Right here. And now I'm going to create a little bit of like uh, shadow. It's not a shadow. It's actually where the light is. The light was able to enter. All right. So I'm just going to explain it by doing it. So I'm going to get my light blue actually light green guys so using my light green all right and now i'm gonna get my white and cover it All right, just like that. I'm gonna wait for this to dry. All right, now I'm gonna make sure that I'll be using a clean brush. You don't wanna use any brush that we already used because we'll be glazing on top of the paint. So I'm gonna use, uh, it's not new, it's just clean. I'm gonna use my pure white. And using my pure white, I am going to glaze some area, especially the sides. I know that circles or um, spe spheres don't have sides, but I'm referring to this as a flat object. So this side of the circle, I'm just gonna use white and I'm gonna dry brush along this so that it makes it appear shiny. Okay, and of course, just blend it with your fingers. And the same thing we'll be doing right here. Again, just pure white and just re highlight this part. I 
I never thought I'd be enjoying painting a marble. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna get um uh okay my white. And I'm gonna make sure that this area of the marble is quite light. Okay, All right, and I'm gonna use the same the same um, brush strokes right here. I'm using pure white to highlight this part. I'm gonna wash my brush out I'm gonna get my pointy brush because we're gonna do some more little detailing just a few more touches okay now I'm gonna get my greeny color remember that all I'm using are the colors that we already have I'm not doing any other colors here if I do I'm gonna tell you so I'm gonna use this color and I'm just gonna go under that marble near the shadow okay it's a very very uh light highlight <laughs> is that the correct uh, definition i mean it's a very subtle detailing but uh it should be there using some greeny colors okay i'm gonna use a little bit of yellowy highlight Okay, I'm going to wash my brush out. Remember when I told you that we'll be using burnt sienna during the intro of this video when I introduced the colors. So get your burnt sienna, just a little bit of it. And I'm going to water it down. And I'm just going to go and apply that brownie color along this area. It's like watery brown. Okay, making it more marbly. And I'm the same in the same manner. I'm just gonna apply that watery brownie colors right there. All right. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get my black just to make sure that I darken some areas. I'm using watered down black. I'm not really painting over the areas that I've done. I'm just trying to glaze it with that color to make our painting more dimensional and yeah, dimensional. It's draining, it's pouring, um, it's pouring outside.
Oh my gosh. This is so good. OMG. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to get some dark blue. Okay, and now black, just thickening the dark areas. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get some yellowy, greeny colors. Okay, and then some more burnt sienna. Just gonna go around this yellow part. As I told you guys, you can go crazy with this one. You can use uh, the colors that we that I told you to use, um, and just you know enjoy the abstract effect of this. Again, it's not abstract, definitely. It looks like a marble to me now. Hmm, I'm so happy. Okay, now let's just have a fix with. Oh, let's just fix the shadow. I'm gonna get my uh, burnt sienna just a little bit. Okay. Okay. Using burnt sienna, I'm just gonna go and spread it like here and on the surrounding outline, just like that, and the same manner, manner right here. Just make some, just gonna fix something. Okay, we're doing good, we're doing fine. And using my yellow plus white. Let's go inside those areas that we already did, making it more abstract-ish. I don't know if you can hear the raindrops, it's raining. I am near the window, by the way. Okay, using this yellow color, I'm gonna go around the shadow part. Again, this is not the shadow. This is where the light um, passes through. All right. Then using some yellowy colors, let's apply some hints of yellows here and there, especially on the right side. We want our painting to be coherent, meaning the colors on our palette must be present in balanced way, okay? Okay, I'm just playing here. All right, using some dark brown, I'm just gonna go around the yellow. Okay. 
and then more detailing here we're almost done we're almost done and I'm just so so proud of myself for doing this today because I thought I won't I won't be I wouldn't be able to do this okay I'm gonna get my white and I'm just gonna lighten this color I mean this side <coughs> excuse me I'm going to get my sky blue. Okay, now let's get some gray color. some gray and blue and yellow. I'm just gonna dry brush on certain areas, especially here. I'm just lightening it. Alright, oh my gosh, this is nice. Okay. Okay, using our pointy brush, I'm going to get my pure white. Just add a little more um, detailing by adding some dots. This will give it more shine. Okay, I think we're done, guys. Yeah, I think this is good. Okay. Wow. I told you that we'll be doing a circle freehand. Okay. But again, there's nothing wrong if you use a plate or something like that. Just to make it easier for you. Painting is supposed to be fun. It should not be stressful.
As you can see here, I'm trying to obsess over some detailing. Again, you can go crazy as much as you want. <laughs> Nothing prevents you from doing, from being or becoming so. <laughs> as long as it's a good, crazy type of thing. Right. Okay, I think I better sign this now. Because if I don't sign this now, I'm going to go crazy over detailing and will not we will not be able to finish this painting. So I'm going to use my blue. Since I do have a lot of blue here going on, I'm going to use my blue and sign right here. Okay, so I hope you enjoy that one. We're done, guys. <laughs> I hope you enjoy that one and I hope you do this one as well. This is actually my first tutorial in Taiwan. I'm just so happy that I was able to do this one. It's my first time to do this one and it's my first time to paint in Taiwan. So I hope you do this one. I hope you like this one. If you like this video, like this. Share this with your friends so that they know that I exist. And see you in my next video. Bye guys. Love you.